Artificial intelligence is perhaps the most hyped yet most misunderstood technology. But over the coming decades, AI is going to impact humanity in ways incredibly hard to imagine. I am deeply concerned that business leaders and policymakers are being advised by charlatans masquerading as AI experts. Decisions that a handful of people are making have the potential to impact humanity in profound ways. And whilst everyone says they do AI, when you really scratch the surface, you find a worrying lack of understanding of its capability and impact. There are two definitions of AI. The first and weakest is getting computers to do things that humans can do. Humans are the most intelligent thing we know in the universe. And over the past decade, we've taught computers to do tasks traditionally only in the domain of human beings. Machines can now correspond in natural language and recognize objects and images better than us. Getting computers to do things that humans can do is a weak definition because I'd argue that humans are not that intelligent, but that's a whole different topic. The stronger definition of AI comes from the definition of intelligence, which is goal-directed adaptive behavior. AI systems are those that can make decisions, learn from the mistakes so they can make better decisions next time. AI is creating exponential advancements, making it more and more difficult for us to predict the future. These massive exponential leaps, taking us to futures where normal rules break down, are called singularities. For decades, sci-fi writers have been speculating about what these futures look like. Some of you may have heard of one type of singularity, maybe even two, but I want to propose a framework that captures six singularities, six points in time where AI creates unforeseeable changes to our civilization. The framework will be familiar with anybody that studied business. It's the macro analysis framework called PESTEL, P-E-S-T-E-L. PESTEL is an acronym of six words, political, economic, social, technological, environmental, and legal. For each one, I want to explain how AI could have an exponential impact on humanity. So let's start with political. The political singularity is where we no longer know what is true. AI allows us to generate images, audio, text, so convincing that it threatens the fabric of our reality. These technical advancements are being driven by immersive games, realistic social media filters, and the automation of human tasks. AI was recently used to mimic the voice of a CEO to instruct their accounts department to pay an invoice. It can simulate political leaders to deliver public announcements that have catastrophic consequences, yet give the same political leaders an opportunity to excuse their real misdeeds as fake news. AI is used to target us with fraudulent content to reinforce our prejudices and entrench our bigotry. Social media platforms have been weaponized to polarize and manipulate our voting behavior. Political parties will continue to use AI to corrupt our sense of right and wrong, creating false enemies to divide us and making false promises to conquer our hearts and minds. Some people might argue that we're already living in a post-truth world. There are people that I know who deny the authenticity of any content that doesn't agree that with their opinion. This phenomenon has sent shockwaves across political systems and has destabilized nations. Corrupt individuals will continue to use these technologies to amass wealth and power. And I'm not convinced that global regulation is enough or even possible to stop them. One antidote is to use AI to depolarize us, to proactively encourage conversation, collaboration, and critical thinking. We could use AI to battle misinformation bots and help pop our social bubbles. AI could challenge our own dogmatic views and enrich our understanding of each other and the world around us. So let's now turn to the economic singularity, which was coined by a good friend of mine, Callum Chase. The economic singularity is when AI automates the majority of human labor. AI is freeing us from mundane tasks, allowing us to do more useful and interesting things. But the commercial drive to reduce costs means that AI will increasingly remove whole jobs. If the pace of automation outstrips how quickly we can retrain or create new jobs, then we will experience mass technological unemployment. More and more of us will become gig workers picking up granular tasks that AI can't automate. Governments need to prevent the exploitation of those flexible workers by introducing new employment protections. 
And for those of us who can't find work, governments need to put in place frictionless reskilling and welfare support. However, if we got the timing right, we could actually create a world of abundance. AI can take the friction and cost out of the production of all of the goods that we depend upon. We could create a world where our energy, nutrition, healthcare, education, shelter are all free. A world where everyone is economically free to pursue happiness for themselves and for others. The social singularity is when we cure death. Some people call this singularity the Methuselahity. For millennia, immortality has been pursued by explorers and emperors, sorcerers and scientists. It's now the turn of the tech tycoons. As we go through our life, our bodies accumulate damage. For most of us, death comes when damage causes one or more critical organs to fail. AI enables us to monitor our health with ever more accuracy. It's accelerating our ability to identify issues, prescribe treatments and conduct operations. And it's even helping us push the boundaries of our understanding of medicine. That means that we can not only slow down aging, but potentially reverse it. Ray Kurzweil, who popularized the term singularity, is a massive advocate of longevity. He is one of a growing community of people who believe there are people alive today who don't have to die. Imagine how differently you would live your life if you were immortal. What would be the impact on our social systems be if we didn't have to die? How would we approach education? How do we, what would we do for a career? And how would we structure our relationships and families? The technological singularity is one that many of us will be aware of. It's where we create an AI smarter than ourselves. This super intelligence could be the last invention that humanity creates. Some people think it's the most glorious thing that will happen to us. Others think it's our biggest existential threat. Almost two decades ago, when I was doing my PhD, I was trying to understand how to solve intelligence without really thinking deeply about the consequences. Yet this is still the stated goal of many industrial and academic AI labs across the globe. AI researchers understand the risks, but for many, the intellectual pursuit is just too tantalizing. It's incredibly naive to expect a silicon god, even one of our own creation, will want to take care of us. We might as well ask aliens to come and rescue us from ourselves. When the technological singularity happens, I believe that uh, our only hope is to show it that we are not a threat. And that means we need to stop fighting each other over petty things and start cooperating as one global species. The second E in pestle is environmental. The environmental singularity is uncontrollable ecological collapse. AI is accelerating the mass production and distribution of goods, which on the one hand is enabling us to live richer, healthier, happier lives. But on the other hand, human consumption is putting extreme pressures on our planetary boundaries. Farming is driving antimicrobial resistance. Clothing production is, is creating an impending water crisis. Transportation is accelerating climate change and our waste is polluting the oceans. Companies are realizing that having sustainable circular supply chains is now not enough. We need to prioritize regeneration as our industrial and economic driver instead of unsustainable exponential production. And whilst we're waiting for aliens to come and save us, it's all of our responsibility to hold leaders accountable to putting people and planet ahead of profit. The final word in pestle is legal. The legal singularity is when surveillance becomes ubiquitous. AI is being used to track individuals and corporations. Our digital footprint allows organizations to know us better than ourselves. These insights are not just used to suggest what goods we might enjoy, but are used to police and prosecute us. AI is being used to predict and prevent crime before it happens, a bit like in that film Minority Report. How would you feel if Tom Cruise arrested you for a crime you didn't know you were going to commit? Some nations even use AI to publicly score the productivity of their citizens. Those who control what the algorithm rewards and punishes also control the masses. AI could eliminate, eliminate all illegal activity, but at what cost to privacy, freedom, expression, and creativity? Regulation needs to move faster than technological progress to ensure that the rights of the individual are balanced with those of the society. So let's just recap. The political singularity is when we no longer know what is true. 
The economic singularity is when AI automates the majority of human labor. The social singularity is when we cure death. The technological singularity is when we create a super intelligence. The environmental singularity is when we trigger uncontrollable ecological collapse. And the legal singularity is when surveillance becomes ubiquitous. Whilst it's hard to see beyond each of these singularities, it's even more complex if several happen around at the, the, the same time. George Orwell's 1984 is an incredible depiction of both the legal and political singularities. A surveillance state in a post-truth world. And many people believe that these singularities will happen within our lifetime. Like any technology, AI is neither good or bad. It's how it's used that determines the outcome. The pestle of singularities are outcomes of an incredibly complex global system, a system currently driven to maximize production and profit. Remember the definition of intelligence, goal-directed adaptive behavior. AI does not set the goal. The goal is set by our intent. The hardest part is setting goals that don't have a negative impact to humanity. It's easy for us to label business and political leaders as corrupt and self-interested. Most of the ones I know have a deep concern about humanity and a desire to make people's lives better. They've achieved their success through tenacity and hard work and their ability. They're smart enough to understand the boundaries of their capability, and they surround themselves by people who bring diverse perspectives. However, AI is enabling a handful of people to accumulate a disproportionate amount of wealth and power. And we incorrectly reflect that wealth and power as a measure of their intelligence. They position themselves as having superior intellects, and some are deluded enough to believe it. Instead of being humbled by their limitations, they are clouded by intellectual hubris and they surround themselves by cronies and sycophants. Achieving their goal is more important than the destruction that they create in their wake. We can't afford for bad outcomes to happen before we introduce new laws and regulation, because by the, by the time these singularities come, it will be too late. To mitigate some of the irreversible outcomes, governments need to do much better at measuring progress than blunt instruments like GDP. Companies need to be genuinely putting purpose as important as profit. But crucially, we as individuals need to hold them both accountable. And we can do this by raising everyone's awareness about the safety and ethical challenges surfaced by AI. AI safety and AI ethics are used as marketing buzzwords to give the illusion of expertise. Distinguishing AI safety and AI ethics from already well-established technology governance frameworks makes no sense. Technology and ethics frameworks need to be enriched and extended to take into account AI. And as AI becomes more and more ubiquitous, these frameworks need to be accessible to everyone to understand and use. Safety concerns itself with ensuring systems don't cause harm. Software and hardware already have rigorous safety methodologies that have been developed over decades. Paradoxically, promoting AI safety separately is not only misleading, but it's dangerous. The nuance is that some AI systems are taught instead of engineered. Training software usually is more complex and is prone to bias, which requires much more robust testing. Once an AI is trained, we typically don't know how it behaves the way it does. So there's a huge amount of investment into understanding how an AI currently makes its decisions. The other type of AI are so complex, they have totally unpredictable and adverse side effects. Let me, let me give you a thought experiment to, to ponder. Imagine you're on the ethics committee of a ride hailing company. Several months ago, your company deployed an AI to automatically set surge prices with the goal to maximize profit. You've just been told that the AI worked how customers will pay more when their phone battery is very low. AI is making the company huge amounts of money, but by exploiting people's vulnerability. What do you do in this situation? Ethics is the study of right and wrong. When considering any decision, whether made by AI or not, we need to ensure fairness and equality. There are already well-established processes to scrutinize ethical decisions. In fact, AI ethicists should call themselves ethicists and then ask themselves honestly if they can live to that title. 
AIs are making increasingly complex decisions. So ethical frameworks need to ensure that the AI's design and intent are transparent. They need to ensure that the data and methodology used to implement the AI is auditable. We need to be able to explain how the AI is making its decisions, and we need to have accountability across the entire development process. We are at an incredibly exciting and pivotal moment in human history, a moment where we will experience exponential effects of AI. The decisions that each of us are making are contributing to these irreversible futures. If we are conscientious, then AI could help us create a fairer and freer society, a world of abundance where the whole of humanity can prosper and thrive. And it's in the hands of all of us to make that world a reality. Thank you for listening.